Hello and welcome back to Reddit Insanity number 20. I'm Mike. I'm Tapeworm. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> we are the Knights of Entertainment. Uh, we got some more today. I fucked up from Reddit for you guys. <laughs> we don't have a tapeworm for this week. So. Thank God. That should have been haunting my dream. <laughs> uh, starting off, we have one from One Bear 6013 This person puts, uh, I currently in the process of joining the police academy and I was doing a background interview with a detective where she <laughs> would ask about drug use and other misdemeanors. I wanted to do the right thing and I told her I had masturbated at work more than once and less than a year ago. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, what, what, did they get caught and you went to jail? Because that's not a misdemeanor. That's just you being nasty. <laughs> I should have just lied. Yeah. <laughs> Part of why I didn't is because I thought that she was very kind and I felt comfortable and also because I wanted to clear my mind before the polygraph. That's how detectives get you to commit a murder <laughs> by being kind and nice. The good cop, bad cop routine is real because it works. <laughs> I could see uh, see it in her face that I had screwed up big time. <laughs> Although she played it cool and said I wasn't done yet, and she still had to talk to uh, it through with her boss. Uh, before I left, I did get a chance to talk with him, the guy who would later review it, and tried my best to leave a good impression. He seemed to lie. Uh, it seemed like a cool dude, but I have a bad feeling I might have to wait six months to try again just because I couldn't keep my mouth shut. What an idiot I am! Why well, wouldn't like it? Wouldn't it be on your record, and you'd be doubt. I mean, yeah. You, you, it's not going to change six months later that you didn't jack off. Like, they, and if it wasn't asked about, why would you just freely say it? Yeah, I guess you thought, well, that was, that's kind of a crime, but no one caught me. Yeah, I kind of did that at work, you know, multiple times less than a year ago. Blowing loads and people's sandwiches or some shit. <laughs> One of theirs. Good. I don't know. Like, it's just like, it's a crime, but it's not like it's like a victim, victim, victimless crime. Like it's not like you're like jacking off behind people or something. Like you open, like you like. Let, let's say he works at a one of those fucking supermarkets that they they put the food in the fucking coolers. Yeah. But you can see outside, and he's just like <laughs> puts it through the little fucking window in the well, cooler. You don't know that. I guess he like, what is John? Yes, that's that true. <laughs> but it had to be bad enough. Why? Did he... Yeah, because you don't be jacking off at work, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> like at all? Like I cannot think of a circumstance in which that is for. <laughs> Well, you know, you're 30 minute lunch. <laughs> you gotta have something to do for the next 20 minutes after you're done eating. It takes 10 minutes to eat. 20 minutes, 20 to, minutes to skin jerk. You come back just to work depleted, like, hell, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> nah, there's there's no reason to jack off other than at home <laughs> or in the, another person's house while they're sleeping. But in not. <laughs> On top of that, though, why the hell would you even tell somebody that? Like, that is not information you should ever... She fucking caught him. (laughs) Like, that's how cops do. They always... They're so, like... Some of them are so friendly and nice. They can't... You you just tell them your whole fucking life story? Yeah, you tell them, like... uh, And then before you know it, you're like, Your Honor. (laughs) They they, they entrap me. (laughs) Uh, Next one is by uh, JSMK. I don't know what the letters stand for, or if they're just random letters. Who knows? And at this day and age, it's probably something hilarious to him. Probably. That we'll never know about. That has no uh, bearing on anybody else's life. Uh, this person puts, uh, this is not an effing joke or a goddamn game. I ate three boxes of Fiber One bars as my exclusive food due to extreme laziness in the last two days. Uh, I've been lazy. Like when you go to the kitchen when you're on day off, like what is this? A piece of bread and some mayonnaise? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> crackers <laughs> instead of going out and putting some clothes on and going to the shop you just pick up some random, just some random shit dry ramen and dry ramen and some fucking fruit roll up <laughs> instead of having an actual meal like a decent human being yeah. you just fucking scavenge like a fucking rat <laughs> picking, picking out food and you dry can, spaghetti noodles yeah <laughs> Uh, you check the dumpster for some food. Like, there we go. Some, like some, some yeah. grapes and stuff I left. <laughs> uh, alrighty. So, in the last two days, and I cannot uh, even understand how much I am fucking farting. <laughs> This is beyond insanity, and I am not exaggerating. I am farting at least two loud, boisterous farts out of my ass per one minute. Oh my god. I have been farting incessantly for the last 18 hours. I want to die. It's like I'm inhaling through my mouth and exhaling through my ass. 
continuously loud yelling moans are destroying my asshole. <laughs> Can you imagine a fart that fucking bottle? <laughs> I know this is a bold claim, but if you don't believe me, try it yourself. You will regret it. This is worse than the time I had an entire box of sugar-free cookies. Sugar-free cookies? What they did to him? You probably fucked him up the same way. <laughs> then there's an update to the. Oh, no. <laughs> Every day since the incident, I have, I've had urges to shit. But whenever I sat down, only one loud, airy fart would come out. No poop. This got scarier as time passed, but yesterday, I had that feeling where I needed a shit so bad, and I rushed to the bathroom. I could feel, uh, finally feel something long and hard exiting my ass. I was so happy. Yay. I made sure to get a good look at the thing. It was big. It was probably about as thick long as uh, three well-nourished herds. It was like a brown can of Red Bull, but twice as long. God, yay. <laughs> Well, what are these? <laughs> we got a Red Bull right here. She's like a fucking log. <laughs> there were also two standard logs on top. God, <laughs> the shit from like the the, the the food from later that was blocked out by the fucking uh, fiber one shit. <laughs> we have this toilet in our apartment that you can flush a live house cat down if you wanted to, but it struggled. I didn't like how he said that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like it was way too specific. But it struggled with this batch of shit. <laughs> like, I, I can't, boss. I can't do it. <laughs> although there was, although it's like uh, like um, that guy from uh, Green Mile. Yeah. I'm tired, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, although this was a nice poop. Oh, I could have. By the way, uh, fiber one or anything fiber ex uh, of excess, you got to drink a lot of water. Yeah. That was his problem. <laughs> he would have shit way sooner if he drank like it was, you know, if he, if he, if it was a dry shit, man, <laughs> shit comes out like fucking sandpaper. You got to drink <laughs> a lot of water if you eat a lot of fiber. <laughs> and then, but, but then you got to hold on to that toilet. <laughs> I was glad to have finally shit. But of course it was not over. What? This morning I woke up and prepared for work when I felt hella rumble in my stomach. I rushed to the bathroom as soon as possible. I uh, shot out a uh, small round rocket ship then began peeing out of my ass with no end in sight. Oh god. I could not stop fuck shitting. <laughs> like this is totally please boss. I'm tired. <laughs> I had to call in at work and I was shitting so motherfucking much. Oh my god. Anyways, I think it's all over now. It was an interesting experience that I'm glad I had, but I certainly will not be repeating any of this ever again if I can help it. I don't blame him. I, don't, I, I wouldn't consider that a good experience. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a god awful experience. But he learned. <laughs> don't eat that fiber one more. Don't bar. eat three packets of fiber because you, you don't want to go out oh. and get some food. Don't be that. That was proof to not be lazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's by Outrageous Fig 3105. I love Fig Newtons. <laughs> that a lot of fiber? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> you don't look you now. Fucking packet of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this person puts, uh, I messed up so bad, guys. I work at a factory that bottles sunscreen. A okay. month or so ago, one of my coworkers took off work because their, her 17-year-old son tragically shot himself in the head. Oh, my God. This is not turning into... <laughs> this story is too dark now. She was the one who found him in his room. Oh, God. I can't even begin to imagine her pain and trauma. Today was her second day back at work. This morning, I gave her my condolences. If you've ever worked in a factory, you know how exhausting you get near the end of the day. <laughs> well, seven hours into my shift, I was tired and taking a rest on a pallet. My coworker and I made eye contact. <laughs> Not thinking, I put two fingers to my head and shot myself as the universal just sucks. Jesus. Good job, bro. Good, good, good job, you fucking. <laughs> she immediately got horrified, looked on her face, and turned away as soon as I realized my mistake i wanted to apologize profusely and just, my body was so broken I just let her i'm tired down. i'm tired man that's that's like one of those social things that it's just impossible to kind of come back from you know like yeah like yo let me do the, the gun shot to the head emotion right after the woman's who's found her son shot, has come back to work. That'll go over for me. Or let, let me make a cancer joke, and then I find out my my coworker has cancer. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, this person puts, uh, 
I wanted to let her know I'm the biggest idiot on the planet and meant no disrespect, but I didn't. I left. I want to quit now. I don't think I can face her again. I I, I, uh, I uh, tried out for the police department, but they said that he, it was the same guy. That's what he was jacking off into with the, bottle, the sunscreen bottles. <laughs> I like to add an extra layer to the stories, like make them seem like you it's, never know. <laughs> it could be time. I'm great at I'm great at weaving stories that have no similar connection and finding connections. Uh, no, is this a uh, Mexican word? A z u r e l a s. Where is it? This is the name. The name. Mm-hmm. Second one down. Is it Azurella? Azurellas? Yeah. You know what that means? No, I don't even know if it's Mexican. That's just Azure. That would you be blue? Azure last. Azure last. I guess. They uh, want to be fancy. They do. This person puts, uh, happened about an hour ago and I'm still furious. Uh, I have been job hunting for ages now and haven't been able to get one. Closest I got was contact negotiations. Uh, then I got ghosted, but that's another story. Anyway. It's not that hard to find a job right now. Not really. We're at McDonald's for like $57 an hour, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> make more than I make. Yeah, they're, they're trying so hard to get people at McDonald's. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I came across the perfect job opportunity. Company car, three days work from home, good salary, and I take every requirement. Well, that's, that's uh, Chuck, uh, Chick-fil-A. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Company car, <laughs> off on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds just like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then you go around and you say, my pleasure <laughs> to everything. <laughs> Uh, so this person put, so I applied online and got called immediately like 10 minutes later. Uh, this Damn. was last week. That was, they, they are desperate. Mm-hmm. A second interview is then set up for today and I spent all weekend preparing for it. Anyway, today is D-Day. The team uh, calls uh, call comes in and I make the uh, capital mistake of referring to the wrong company. Uh, which in my mind makes sense because I'm applying everywhere, but they don't see it like that. In their eyes, I'm not motivated enough and not fully committed. I don't even get a chance to explain that I'm unemployed and I'm applying everywhere before they wish me well and in the call. <laughs> Damn, I just made a quick mistake. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> they cannot be fucking serious. It was an honest... Oh, uh, hey, tar- oh, Walmart? Sorry. It's an I'm- honest mistake. Uh, you have a great day, bye. <laughs> you have... I guess you're not that desperate then, you assholes. Pretty much, yeah. You know, you know during the uh, the pandemic and stuff uh, the other companies were so desperate they were coming into our store trying to poach us yeah. to there at the mall yeah I'm like like I've never seen that before like I'm rare like I'm on the I'm I'm working there right I'm at my fucking store working <laughs> and these people are coming in from like fucking uh, JC Penny at Target at uh, Walmart or not at the mall looking for like you guys can we should come work for us like, how are you gonna pitch it like just I guess because they realize that you know I'm at work and they, they need somebody that will come into work. <laughs> yeah, so they figured like, oh, I'm here, so they, maybe I'll go there. In hindsight, I should have left when I had the chance. <laughs> you know, I'm just sinking with the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is by uh, Nothing But Regerts. Ah, good. Regerts. A good old uh, We're the Millers callback. Yeah. So this person puts, uh, so I, a 20-year-old male, was preparing to go on a first date with a girl, 19-year-old female, that they met on Bumble. Ew, they're the same age almost? <laughs> That's what I heard of nowadays. That's disgusting. <laughs> Uh, I have not been on many days before, and I was quite nervous. I also didn't have much date-appropriate uh, clothing. Procrastinating like usual, I didn't start... Uh, You're fucking 19 and 20. A t-shirt and pants without your dick showing is really appropriate. <laughs> he's he's thinking way too much about it. A little bit, yeah. Just take her to fucking uh, Applebee's or, God forbid, the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> or Cracker Burl. Okay. <laughs> You want to go to Crack and Burl? Just, you know, just take her somewhere. Take her to the movies. Go to the food court. You know, get her, get her, a, get her a corn dog and see how far it can go down her mouth. Just, you know, for a future reference. You know. Let's see how far she can bite this corn dog. <laughs> You'll learn many things. It's not that serious. No. Uh, procrastinating like usual. I didn't start trying things on until 30 minutes before I was supposed to pick her up. Freaking out and needing to find anything presentable, my roommate was kind enough to lend me his nice khaki pants and a flannel. So, I just threw on the pants figuring it'd be good enough. Uh, He's a bit bigger than me, but I didn't realize how much bigger until I was walking to her door. 
I was damn near holding my pants up with one hand in the pocket, but playing it off with the world's most awkward side hug, afraid to take my hand out of my pocket. Should have got himself a little binder clip. <laughs> like Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Gravity was not my friend tonight. Whole date was just sitting down at dinner. Great. Pants can't hurt you when you're sitting down. She's really You nice. are. Sadly mistaken, sir. <laughs> <laughs> She's really nice, and we had a great time. <clears throat> Everything changed when we walked out of the restaurant and drove back to her house. Uh, we were saying goodbye at the door, and gaining courage, I went in for a full hug instead. Immediate regret. I tried to widen my stance, but gravity is a heartless bitch. I immediately felt the cool breeze on my nethers and my pants around my knees. I tried to reach around, still embracing, and pull them up to respectful levels, but it was too late. My face was beet red. She looked down and saw my underwear. She stepped back very concerned. I tried to explain everything, and she ended up just laughing hysterically, saying, All it takes to get your pants off is one hug. Apparently, her sister as well was watching through the window and now, was also laughing. Now we've been married 47 years. <laughs> it confirmed I at least did intentionally uh, deep pants myself. Anyway, we're going on a second date and I'm getting the belt. I told you. See, look at that all sweet now. <laughs> that would suck. Though. At least he didn't go command. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. He felt it in his nethers. It's like... <laughs> Fucking dick swinging. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all the best uh, dating or like long term relationships always have like the funniest story, beginning stories. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least, it, it, at least her sister it, it, it agreed with him, and it, it didn't take the the mean way. It was like, no, he did it on purpose. Uh, I also like uh, what the hell is she watching for you. For, I guess she was making sure her sister's okay. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, we're watching us. You have peeper. Yeah, freak. <laughs> Women can be peepers too. <laughs> Uh, next one is by throwaway three two seven four five four. So there's been a lot of throwaway. <laughs> That's what I get from that. Uh, this person puts, uh, I, a 15 year old male, am currently taking a girl from my school, 15 year old female. The same to, age? I don't believe it. I know. We met a few weeks ago, and I think things are going well until today. Earlier, we were on FaceTime call, which we normally do every evening. For I don't think he's week. 15, by the way. Half of this stuff, I think it's just like writers uh, practicing their writing skills, to be honest. Probably. Because, like, I mean, I'm, I'm a perfectly articulate 15 year old male. Yes. Hello. I would like to tell you a story about this thing that happened to me mm -hmm. as a 15 year old male because I am 15. I'm like, okay, bro, go ahead. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, everything was fine, and we were uh, we had been on a call for a couple of hours whenever I had to pee. Uh, she was in the middle of telling me a story, and I didn't want to interrupt her or seem rude. But I also really wanted to pee. Jesus Christ! Like, uh, so, could you hold on? I gotta go to the bathroom. Is that okay? <laughs> I mean, like, okay, will you guys be so stop being so fucking weird? I know. Jesus. So I decided to go and just kept holding the camera in front of my face so she wouldn't know and it wouldn't be weird. Uh, I tell her I'm changing rooms to get more privacy and get to the bathroom. She continues her story while I drop my pants, all while holding the camera at the same angle to my face. I mute so she can't hear my stream, temporarily stopping my stream and unmuting whenever I have to respond. Everything was going as planned without her knowing until I flushed. I tried to do the thing that guys do and give it a shake to get the last few drops off, but I decided I, I guess I uh, was shaking enough that the camera was also shaking. She notices and asks me if I'm jerking off. <laughs> it calls me disgusting. I tell her I am not and confess that I'm just pissing, which she doesn't believe. So in a panic, I decided uh, that the best way to prove it is to flip the camera around and show her the toilet full of pee. She asks what's wrong with me and ends the call and calls me a freak and hangs up. <laughs> I tried calling her a few minutes later, but she declined. This is probably the end, and I doubt she's going to still want to talk with me after that. It sucks because I really liked her, but I'm too stupid and I ruined it. All you had to do was tell her, hey... I Can just, you hang I, on a second? Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. What? The, why the fuck do people convolute simple situations? I don't know. I do not understand our species anymore. I bet. How could you not say, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Give me a second. Instead, like, how do, how do I get away from the situation? That would be the least awkward somehow for some Right. Fun. What do you mean the least awkward? Just tell her you gotta go to the fucking bathroom. Or just say, hey, my mom needs me for a second. You live at home, obviously. Like, I wouldn't, I'd know. I'd be like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Like, I'm hey. saying if you're trying to get around saying that you gotta go use the restroom. What kind of person can't say, hey, I need to go? Uh, you know what I tell people? Like, I, gotta I gotta go check the stock market. I'll be right back. And they know damn well I'm gonna go take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last one is by I just don't know lol so this person puts to start I'm a 24 year old male 
uh, am not a cook. And this happened just now. My experience cooking is very limited. And my best dish is probably some scrambled eggs. Ah, the good old scrambled eggs. <laughs> See, he doesn't say boiled egg because that takes a little more effort. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you remember that you boiled an egg? When you remember you boiled an egg. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, I was boiling some eggs. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and make some uh, make some fried rice, as we had some leftover rice in the fridge. I searched up a recipe and followed the first one on Google. They called for peas, carrots, eggs, green onions, soy sauce, and sesame oil. You know, I once did that. Like, I found this. Like, I, I made this delicious tilapia, breaded tilapia. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I learned how to make it to perfection. So I needed some side. So I made this fucking like banger rice. Like, is what I thought. Like, it looked fucking phenomenal <laughs> like I, I followed all the ingredients to the letter used turmeric that i've never heard of in my life now, all this fucking stuff all these spices it came out yellow out of from white rice to yellow rice mm -hmm. kind of like the, the kind of they sell in like uh like swarma yeah is that what it's called like you know those restaurants that have like the yellow rice yeah that they just fucking like give you a whole fucking uh pack uh, bag or like a box full of rice yeah and uh, it's got vegetables. Like it, it fucking looks delicious. I peeled, I cut all the onions. My eyes were fucking like, I, <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> and uh, I should have froze the onion. I should have uh, put the onion in the in the refrigerator. Is what I learned, so that wouldn't burn my eyeballs out. And I fucking uh, give it. A, I, I start eating it right, and it doesn't taste like anything. It didn't taste like it does. It it was like I was eating nothing. <laughs> Like that was it was it wasn't good it wasn't bad it was nothing nothing like I I, I can feel the motion of me chewing but there was a literally no taste and like I'm like my mouth is like are we eating in something <laughs> like because I've never tasted nothing before and I'm like what the fuck did I do that fucked this rice up so bad because it looked so good and then just like not uh, even the I can't even taste the vegetables anymore <laughs> I don't know what happened but I, it was like literally nothing. I've never experienced that in an eating in my life. Did you have a stroke? No. <laughs> I hope not. It's like, it's nothing. <laughs> like, it was absolutely nothing. <laughs> like, I'm like, my brain, like, couldn't comprehend that we were eating something. Like, it was trying to make up a flavor. The goodness? Yeah, like, like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> 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 and, and then I lost the recipe, so I couldn't fucking make it again just to make just sure. Just to see if what it was? Yeah, like, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know if I didn't do the right combination or that's what it was supposed to taste like. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, but I was like, man, I could have eaten all of it, right? Mm -hmm. And not get full because I would be like, I'm not eating anything. <laughs> that's that was a very it was, weird It was situation. weird, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, he, he tried to find a recipe. <laughs> For what? For the fried rice. Okay. Uh, it says that uh, it wanted peas, carrots, gr egg, green onion, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Okay, that's basic. Aside from the peas and carrots, you don't need that for fried rice. But it's you a, a little heft to it. It's a little, uh, you have to add a little bit of vegetable. Bam. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like, it's too unhealthy. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, I said to put the sesame oil in the pan and preheat to medium high heat. Uh, this is where I fucked up. I did as it said and put the peas and carrots in immediately as I did. Tons of smoke comes from the pan. Peas start popping and oil starts splashing. I immediately start freaking out and turn on the fan vent uh, to vent out the smoke. Uh, but it was a little too late. The hot oil is still popping and splashing all over me, including my face burning in. Uh, my smoke detector warns me it detects smoke and will soon beep. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but it's 1 a.m. right now, so the whole house, but me, is sleeping. First, I see my brother come downstairs, and he sees me failing to cook and starts laughing. Why the fuck would you be cooking at 1 a.m.? Now that's that's the uh, that's the the, the uh, scavenger rap mode where you just eat whatever you can find. <laughs> Not go and make a full yeah full course meal at one in the morning. Uh, I'm like, come help me smoke out the house before the alarm goes off, waking up our parents. Too late, <laughs> too late though. As I'm saying it, the alarm goes off, waking both my parents up. So dad comes up. What the fuck is going on there? God dang, God dang. <laughs> my dad comes downstairs looking super grumpy, understandably, as I'm trying to jump to turn the smoke detector off. Eventually, I turn it off and apologize profusely to my dad. After I apologize to my fucking belt. <laughs> it's like, you may be 24, but you can still get this. You better get 24 of these fucking belt hits. 
24 times 10. Boom. God dang, 34, Dad. No, times 10, 204. No, that's even higher. 2,000. I'm not too good with the math, but I, that's a lot of belt whips. Uh, the kitchen is now a mess. My peas and carrots are completely burned from not stirring them while trying to turn off the alarm, and they popped everywhere and landed all over the kitchen. Uh, she explains that my problem was that I had the heat on too high. Uh, our stove is apparently more my powerful. My dad explained my problem was that I was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the dynamic. <laughs> Uh, our stove is apparently more powerful than your typical stove, so the medium high heat the recipe called for was way too high. Uh, she helps me make it and uh, walks me through my mistakes, and in the end, with new veggies. At one in the morning? Yeah, apparently. Oh, Dad, I would have beat his ass. Oh, she was making it so she could throw it in his face. <laughs> God dang. Uh, the dish is completely uh, complete and tastes good. But now I'm left here sitting in the dark at 1 a.m. with a burnt face and arms eating fried rice. My asshole hurts from all the whipping my dad gave me. <laughs> Missing 240 lashes. <laughs> it's time to stand. I'm sitting here crying eating my fried rice. I'm actually standing because I can't sit in. <laughs> my ass. My, my, my brother got 10 hits too for whatever reason. <laughs> for life or just being there. <laughs> It's like, Dad, I just woke up too. Dad. And if you still live at home with your parents at 24, you don't be cooking at no 1 a.m. in the morning. Like, yeah. you know, they're asleep. They got they got bills to pay. Exactly. It's like, they're, a, they got to pay for your fucking... You're a fucking dead <laughs> It's like, at least be nice and don't cook something that late at night. Good God. Who the fuck cooks uh, fried rice at 1 a.m.? Yeah, that's the weird part. Like, it's way too late at night. For such yeah. a heavy meal. I mean, unless you work at night, like you know, in like a normal oh, and he's schedule. Like, he's used to, he's got to stay right. up on his days off right. to like, keep uh, the same uh, internal clock. That's the only like exception I can think of. You can still go out and get some food. Yeah, you could. You know, yeah. you go to the 7-Eleven, you get some food, you, you get blow, you get a blowjob from the crackhead in the corner, and then you go home. <laughs> <laughs> all, all's well in the all, all good night. All's in the, all's well that ends well. Some old man just comes out, suck your dick for a dollar, <laughs> a dollar, <laughs> and he's like, "Shit, that's a deal." <laughs> I was gonna pass up on a deal. It's a dollar. <laughs> Imagine being the type of person that's like, "It's it's a it's a deal." It's a dollar only. A shit. dollar <laughs> shit. I'll I'll suck the chrome off your old dick. <laughs> so fucking seventy five year old uh, meth head, no teeth. God, a dollar, you say, sir? That's uh, like, what the, say, if you really want to go deal with some people like that, all you have to do is go down to the stockyards. And then he's, then he's like, what if I gave you $10? Shit, I'll, I'll let you stick in here. <laughs> oh, God. Your don't, mind just goes to the dark. <laughs> don't uh, don't hook up with a crackhead on the <laughs> You're going to make this podcast. Uh, <laughs> Did mine shock you? Oh, it's shocking. Yeah, apparently, I'm, I'm the guy that makes it shocking. <laughs> like, I, like, my mind just apparently cannot be handled. Next, it'll be shocking and disturbing. <laughs> Both of those contents. Hopefully, that gives us more views. <laughs> right. We constantly get flagged all the time. Well, the funny thing is, is that we're not even a channel that is for kids. And uh, it's not marked as for kids. Apparently, I break the brains of grown men. <laughs> They're like, my God. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> but anything I else can't there? help it. My brain is crazy. Nah, we're all a little bit crazy, right? We all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> Uh, anything else to add? Yeah, man. How do you make rice? It doesn't taste like anything. To this day, I don't know. Let's see, I gotta show you. I, I kind of think that that recipe doesn't even exist anymore. It was all in your mind. Like it was, yeah. I just made it because <laughs> I still haven't found it. <laughs> it was one of those fever dreams. And I don't remember the recipe at all. But I, I remember the tilapia recipe to a T. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, what, what, what was it? <laughs> It was all a daydream. <laughs> it's a fever dream. It's just like I woke up, like I, I, I regained consciousness back at home, holding a Walmart bag with turmeric in it for some reason and some bag of rice. Like what the fuck? A bag of peas and carrots <laughs> and some fucking and an onion. I specifically went to Walmart and got all the ingredients, and then I looked through uh, all the all their fucking spices. They got terrible spices compared to uh, Dollar Tree. 
Yeah, they do. You get all the spices at Dollar Tree. That's all we do with spices. Well, who wants all the spices? Which is sad. <laughs> they got quite the uh, the inventory on spices. Not all the spices, but they have a good selection. Yeah. Beans Less- and rice. Lesson is, if you're going to make fried rice, then don't cook it the way no it is. <laughs> yeah, well, like, whatever the fuck I did. <laughs> We'll talk to you guys on the next one. <laughs> it was like you could you could taste dirt, but you couldn't taste his rice. 